Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today we are just going to make this cute little um, favor um, that you can use maybe for an upcoming holiday. I was I did a Christmas one and we're going to change our um, front here today on today's projects, but I thought this would be a nice um, placemat holder um, for Thanksgiving as well if you wanted to turn this into um, a Thanksgiving one. So let's go ahead and show you. It's a pretty simple um, cute little box that, um, and I'm using the stamp set Signs of Santa. Um, this is one of the all-time favorites and I use the official seal of the North Pole um, on this one that you can fill with a nice little goodie. I think we'll do one of the little elves on today's project on the video. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to use a piece of the Under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper. This is 8.5 by 5.5. I'm going to bring in my trimmer and we're going to do some scoring. So with the vertical inside our um, stamp and trimmer here, we're going to score um, at 1.5 on both sides. I'm going to flip that around and now do my other side. And then with it horizontal, um, we're going to make some more score marks. So I'm going to do one and three quarter, three and a half. I like to do my scores a few times, even though this paper is not very, very thick. I just like to have a nice score. Um, that was at five, so one and three quarters, three and a half, five, and then I'm going to open up the arm and we're going to do six and three quarters. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to just um, burnish all of our score lines with my bone folder. You can see the other side of this paper. It's pretty too. I think now after making this, I think I will do a Thanksgiving one um, to set at the table with a little treat in it. You could even put everyone's initials um, on your tag. That would work as well. All right, so let's do this side. We are going to, so I have it going vertical. We're going to cut up our score lines here. I know that's hard to see on camera. So we're going to do that on both ends. I'm going to flip it around and do it the same thing over here. Whoa. Okay, so this is actually our, our top. Um, so I'm going to hold hold this together and I'm going to take a hole punch. Um, if you Any little punch that you have, it just needs to be big enough to get your ribbon through it. We're going to do that there. And then while I have this, we're going to round the corner. So I'm going to bring in our corner, what is this called? Detail Trio uh, punch and we're going to round the edges of that. Okay, so now you can see our pretty top. All right, now we're going to turn it on the other side. So here's the top that we rounded. Um, so here's the center. So this is the center square here. We're going to cut up the score line of our center. Okay, and then we're going to do that over here as well. To, hopefully I didn't go over my score line. It's even hard for me to see. Okay. All right, so you have it here. Now you have a score line. Here's our top, and here's a score line here. We're just going to cut this piece in half. So keep that center part um, folded so you can see. And this paper, because of the lines, it can kind of throw your eyes 
a little bit. So depending on what DSP you use, it could be a little easier on yourself. Okay. So let's cut that all the way up. All right, so now with all your pieces cut, that's what you have left. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put adhesive on these four tabs here. And I'm gonna use our tear and tape. All right, so let me find my take your pick tool here. We will uh, lift up our tear and tape. I'm gonna pull it off of all four. So now you will see, we're going to lift this up and fold this under. Okay, so just pull that up. Keep your, these are your the tops. I'm gonna fold this right in, okay? So pretty easy to get together here. nice press. All right, so there is our little box. Uh, let's do some of the fun part, which is embellishing. Um, I am going to bring in a few scraps here. So I have a scrap of Knight of Navy, Old Olive, and White. I'm going to use my Starburst uh, Punch to punch the Knight of Navy, and then we're going to use um, our layering circles to cut um, the Old Olive and the Whisper White. So let me bring in the big shot. Now I have my magnetic platform in here with my precision base plate. You don't need the precision base plate to do this. Um, I'm just going to leave it attached just for quickness. And we're going to roll this through. Now you can see we are going to layer this up just like that for the front of our our car, our little favor. So on the Whisper White, I'm going to bring in the little elf and I'm going to ink this up in the Memento because I'm going to use my stamp and blends um, to color him. Let me see. That looks pretty good. All right, we're going to stamp him down, give that a minute to absorb. Beautiful. So I have my Real Red um, blend. You can find these in the catalog. Um, this is the light. I think I'll go with the dark red. So I, you really probably only need one color, whichever one you're going to choose. Put something behind your Whisper White because the Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers, so they will bleed through. So you just want to be careful not to ruin your work surface. All right, so that was the dark real red. I think I'm going to grab maybe a green. So I'm gonna do the old olive since that's the color that we're using and I'm just going to color in the little ball here on his hat. This is the dark old olive. And then the buckle, I'd like gold. Um, we used to carry a gold wink of Stella, but I'm gonna use our bronze marker and see how that looks. I think that'll do, do it pretty well. And I can then add a little wink of Stella um, right over that to give it a little you know, sparkle. Perfect. I know that's probably, probably hard to see that sparkle. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer our pieces together here. Is very quick you could you know you could make a lot of these depending on how many you need either for um, little gifts or to use at the Thanksgiving table pretty easy to do okay all right so now for our ribbon I am using the mixed satin real red ribbon let me grab my ribbon scissors um, we're going to just cut a piece and this is a nice size, so kind of to see, that's a roll of glue dots. 
um, in there. So you can fit a nice treat in here. All right, so let's we'll put our ribbon through. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut that on an angle. I have some of our Whisper White Baker's twine. And we'll just cut a little piece off of that. I'm gonna make a knot just to keep this from sliding on that satin ribbon. And then we're going to do a bow. Okay. I can even out my, my ribbon again. And then I'm going to um, lay this down. You could pop this up with dimensionals as well if you wanted. I'm only going to put adhesive on that bottom half um, that is touching the front of our box here. So you'd still have plenty of room. Get my fingers in there. Look how cute that is. You could add a little tag. They're in the signs of Santa. Let me grab my stamp set. Where did I set it? Here. Um, there is a to and from, so you could add a little tag here if you wanted to put um, people's names on your little favor, your little gift. Um, so really fun, cute size um, to give a little treat. So that completes our project, guys. You could see I use different dies, different sizes on, on the two, but you can use whatever fits um, the image that you, you want to use. So um, very versatile and fun. So as always, guys, I thank you so much for watching. You can find a full supply list in the description of this video as well as um, this month's host code. I will be at OnStage Orlando this week, so I'm going to try to pop in um, with some projects, but a little different schedule um, since I'll be out of town at the um, Stampin' Up! conference, um, which should be super fun. We get to see new pr new products and play with play with new stuff, so it's always a great time. Um, that's one of the perks of being a demo. So if you've always wanted to try that, feel free to join my team. I can give you more details on that. You can find more on my blog as well. Um, so thanks again, guys, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.